Well, this 20 foot inflatable IUD is standing outside the Capitol and the goal is to raise support for women's reproductive freedom and access to contraceptives. Well, it comes after Republican senators voted against a proposal that would have guaranteed access to contraceptives and Tennessee's Republican supermajority killed two bills that would have done the same. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains the effort to protect birth control access despite the other side arguing it's not at risk. It turned some heads and raised some eyebrows. This 20 foot inflatable IUD is more than an attention grabber. It's a statement about access to contraception in Tennessee. One of the best contraceptive methods is the IUD. It's also one of the most expensive. We've got to make sure that everyone has access to the best contraceptive methods in this state. Representative Gloria Johnson and Senator Charlene Oliver worry access is now at risk. Contraception is the safeguard so that women can choose. Women can choose life and children and their future on their own. It's why they sponsored two bills last legislative session that would have protected access to contraceptives. They were both killed by the Republican supermajority. The motion is not agreed to. Something similar happened on the national level when the U.S. Senate voted down the Right to Contraception Act earlier this month. Conservative lawmakers argue legislation protecting birth control isn't needed because there isn't any legislation putting it at risk. Uh, I think we have been pretty clear and and protecting and understand that contraception is something that we, we would protect. But Gwen Levy, sexual assault survivor and musician, worries that could change. It's a very personal issue for me. Writing the song Barefoot and Pregnant, which later went viral after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Her lyrics, ask the good old boys drinking whiskey and rye, what do we do with the women in our lives? Let's keep them barefoot and pregnant, hoping they get lawmakers' attention. I feel like Music is the way that's actually going to make the most uh, of an impact for people and the society that we're in. And it's the, I mean, it's one of the easiest ways to get people to notice the issues that we have in front of us. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Now, Republicans in Tennessee have denied the claim that birth control access is at risk. While some lawmakers interpreted the Dobbs decision that overturned Roe v. Wade as a reason to restrict birth control access, there's currently no proposed legislation threatening contraceptives.